Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. Zooming in on a very interesting topic uh, that was brought to my attention by a viewer um, who had made a comment, a very astute comment on uh, essentially the golden child in a narcissistic family dynamic. And um, he had noted that the narcissist uh, the adult in the family oftentimes lives vicariously or has a false pride that they really sort of extract from the golden child. In other words, the golden child can do no wrong. Um, they're living vicariously through them, their accomplishments, um, their personality, their ongoings in their life. Essentially, um, you know, they're able to see kind of reflected in them what they had never experienced. And likewise, the scapegoat um, experiences uh, uh, treatment to quite the contrary. And I thought that was a really interesting observation um, because the uh, golden child, in essence, can do no wrong. Um, even in the face of um, f certain flaws or shortcomings, certain transgressions, you know, they're just essentially not paid any heed, no attention, essentially, you know, shrugged off. Um, and they're really held, you know, inaccountable. So I thought that was very interesting um, to see that um, observation. And that absolutely is the, the truth um, in terms of how a golden child is treated as compares with the, um, the scapegoat in the family. And I want to really address, you know, the dynamics there that it's very important, I think, to withhold judgment um, as I kind of profess, um, love more, judge less, Bec and because the the um, the golden child, you know, is is, you know, basically trying to lead, be a leader or be the one who is superior or placed in the golden position, and the the scapegoat uh, always feels a constant comparing to, a constant sort of you know pitting against. A, you know, sort of, you know, a yardstick. They're here, you're there. It's a constant use, is a, a constant meter for um, your development, your accomplishments, you're being compared against this and this standard. When in essence, I really believe that each person has their own internal locus of control, their own strength, and truly, you know, they are their own guideposts in terms of you know where they develop in life because you can have completely different personalities and people are accomplished based on their own talents and strengths so that's the the beauty of being a unique individual so I think it's very important uh, to see that in that dynamic and if you guys have any uh, comments to add to that I would uh, love to hear from you but I think it's very important you know from either the golden child standpoint or the scapegoat child standpoint to really you know try to uh, I would say uh, stop and release any sort of judgment um, or comparison really that tends to erupt in that sort of family dynamic because as soon as you can release that comparison and release them as the, the standard, release them as the golden standard, you know, you realize that you create and develop your own standards yourself and then it's, it's your exceeding of your own goals and your own standards that's really most fulfilling and most rewarding and truly uh, the guidepost of empowerment. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos help. Please do share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussions, and support.